Howdy folks, TJ here. Another next day. It's Friday, my day off. I should be out in my shop working on my Volkswagen bus. Last Friday, I finally had some oomph to go out there and continue working on my brakes. Last night, I went to bed with the intention of, yeah, I need to get out there and do it again today. But I'm just not feeling it. I'm pretty pooped. I don't didn't sleep well last night, and I'm kind of groggy and just don't want to go out there and bust knuckles. So I thought I'd play with my next. <laughs> it's a lot funner, uh, in my opinion. Um, there are times that I like to wrench on things, but today wasn't the day. So what am I going to do? Well, the first peripheral that I purchased for my next, before I owned a next, long before I even had an opportunity to buy a next, because... Uh, I wasn't on the Kickstarter, so I was hoping that one day I would own one. But what did I buy? It is this Genius Mouse. Uh, I started following the next Facebook group long ago, and one of the mice that popped up as a good choice for the next was this Genius Mouse. So it was like under 10 bucks. Figured I'd purchase it, and at some point I'm going to own a next, hopefully. So it's the DX110 or DX110, and it's um, plug and play. <laughs> it's a PS2 mouse, uh, and I've never opened it yet. I just purchased it, and that was it. So here's the, uh, let's see if I get the lighting in here. Here's the little box, the front of it, and uh, it just says Genius, and it's a black mouse, plug and play. The side, it has a checkbox for either USB or PS2. I've got the PS2 version, so that's at least the box that's checked, and as it says, it's compatible with Windows and Mac OS X, and uh, uh, with available PS2 or USB port. The back, well, let's see, let's show this side first. Looks like it came in different colors. I got black because the next is a sweet, sexy black, right? So I got the black color, although some of these other colors kind of look cool, but I'm glad I went black. Bottom. Just has some gibberish. I don't think we need to chat about that much. The back has basically more gibberish that you probably don't care about. So, uh, But let's open it up. A little unboxing. And then, I have no clue. Other than I seem to remember watching a video that there's a Kempston application someplace in the tools on the um, SD card that... I don't know if it works with PS2 or not, but I seem to remember somebody using a mouse with it, um, so maybe. Okay. Mm. Empty box. Okay. Mouse in a little plastic bubble wrap baggie. Okay. Let me look at it first. I'm greedy like normal. It's got a little grunk on it. Maybe there was a real mouse in here. What is that? It's got some, like, crusty crap on here. I'm going to have to clean it. Yeah. Anyway, don't want to get caught up in that. And on the end, yay, PS2 connection. So why don't I undo this little doohickey. We'll plug it in the back, start up the next, and see what happens. Now, I the main intention for me, I don't know if the Sprite Editor program works with the mouse or not. That would be great, because I want to start coinciding with me reading the book. I started my new video series about me going chapter for chapter. I'm going to kind of tag team on the side, start designing my Invasion of the Cloud People game for the next. So I want, I was hoping it worked with the Sprite Editor, so I can uh, kind of jump into the fun part, the dessert part of designing my little spaceship, uh, Cellular Storm, uh, first. To kind of get me excited about it. So I gotta get this grime off. This is driving me crazy. Even though I've got tons of dust all over the place, certain things that I don't like clickies or crunchies. It's weird. It's got like somebody ate some Fruit Loops. <laughs> it's on my my scroll bar. Okay, I'll, I'll I'm a little anal that way. I'll stop. I'll deal, I'll deal with the cleanup later. Let me plug this thing in. I've never plugged in a PS2 device on my next yet. Got a keyboard. Make sure it's the right way. I'm going to make sure it's keyed right. Yeah, that's right. Whew. 
Okay, it's plugged in. I'm gonna boot. Maybe we'll use my Amiga OS <laughs> mousepad down here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's just see what the heck happens. Make sure this is plugged in. Oh, I gotta turn on my screen. It's funny, I always have to click this thing twice. And I gotta hit the little OK button. Multiple HDMI ports. Alright, now let's go see if I can find what the heck I was talking about. So, browser. Oh, I was gonna start using this keyboard down here. That won't work. Uh, browser. I think it was in tools. Uh oh. I don't see it in tools. I see it's something developer. Um. No, I don't see it in there. Uh, I'm looking for something called Kempston, I thought. So let's backtrack. Backtrack. Was it in demos? Extras? Uh, let's go to demos, I guess. There is a mouse one here. I seem to remember something called Kempston, though. Maybe that's no longer. So let's just go up to mouse and see what the hell happens. Uh, mouse, NX mouse dot BAS, mouse driver, I have no idea, so let's just try something. Ooh, that, <laughs> I guess not, and maybe not, not in that one. Oh! I think it's in this keyboard down here. Let's just run it and see what the heck happens. Interpret driven mouse demo. It's funny, I get these little stupid silly lines in here. Oh, I wonder where I get that. Interrupt driven mouse demo. Oh! Hey! I do have this going on the screen. These little lines are kind of funky. I don't know if it's... I, I've tried multiple HDMI cables. I don't know if I put the wrong one back on or what I did, but... All right, so let's see. Interrupt driven mouse demo. Press space to exit. C to toggle cursor mouse. S to change sprite number. P to change the sprite pattern. Let's just go ahead and hit C. I don't know what that's doing. S? Well, it's, it is moving around on the screen. That's cool. Okay, I hit S to continue uh, to get out. Um, let's see. Let's, let's let's do soft reset. Okay, I found it. It's in the extras folder. So browser. Uh, let me just backtrack so you can see. Backtrack. Okay, so extras. And they have a keyboard tester and a Kempston tester. That's the one I seem to remember seeing in a video. And when I go down and run the application, it's a Kempston port test. So I guess it's looped into the PS2 port on the back. Because when I think of Kempston, I think of joysticks. But I know it's uh, not specifically always joysticks. But I was thinking these, but it's for this here. So I can. you'll see I've got a cursor. First time I'm ever using a cursor and a mouse on a Speccy. And it happens to be the next. How awesome. Um, so it says if I click the left button, I'm guessing this bar, if I seem to remember right, turns red. So, yep, there's red. Middle, which is my scroll bar that's got that Cheerio goop on it. Uh, click that. Green. Right button. Blue. Scroll wheel. There you go. I'm scrolling with that little bar. Cool. So the mouse is working. Now let's just go ahead and bring up that sprite editor I talked about earlier. This to a soft um, reset. I'm getting used to doing the um, NMI button 4 now to do that. And uh, let's see. If I remember right, you want to go... Uh, I keep hitting this keyboard down here. Uh, browse and then go to the folder. And I'm just going to go out to the main directory where you want to save your um, sprite. And then, let's see, you hit the break key... And then go down the command line, and then type in S P R E D E T for Sprite Editor. Then in quotes, I'm just going to put test 
SPRT, and then dot uh, SPR for Sprite, and then an end quote. And that should launch the Sprite Editor program. Uh-oh, what did I do? Sprite, SPR edit, test, SP, oh, do I have too many letters? No, that's only eight. So what did I do wrong? That's weird. Oh, jeez. I've got, uh, I thought I had this uh, figured out in my head. Uh, let's just delete all the characters and try typing over. Delete, delete, delete. Oh, it's dot sprite. That's what it is. Period. S P R edit. Quote. Test. S P R T. Dot. S P R. End quote. Hey! Got in there. Now, will this cursor up in the left corner move? Yes! How awesome is that? Now, let's just go up and select a color. Uh, it's white. I don't know if you have to do something else. Double click? I don't, I don't know the program yet, so. But you can see I'm moving it and drawing it. It's in white here. Um, I, I don't know how to use this program. Um, so maybe, I, do I have to use this one? I don't know. I don't know how to use this program, but. Uh-oh, I've, I've got them all over the place now. Now I can't even draw. Uh, may, oh, maybe this one has to, maybe one always has to be down here. I don't know what I'm doing. But you see the cursor moving! <laughs> uh, so I need to read this thing, but so far so good. You know, I connected the mouse, and I got that uh, Kempston driver to do what the mouse buttons were clicking. And I loaded this up, and it does let me kind of draw. I need to read now offline and uh, see if I can start creating Cellustorm. Cool! Nice! Very nice application. I like it. Thanks for watching. See ya. I lied again. That's not the end of the video. I just figured I'd add this little bit, since this is not going to be a long video anyway. Uh, I figured out how to select the color with the mouse. Now, I don't know how to clear this if I wanted to kind of start over other than getting out of it yet. I've got a lot to learn. But what you do is you go over here and right click on the color you want. So I want this particular green. And then you'll see that it's green. I want this particular um, red, and now it's red. There you go, cool. Now if I, if you hit the J button, it cycles through this sprite editor, so you can do stuff. So if I wanted to use keyboard, I could use Q, W, E, so you don't have to have a mouse. So if I hit Q, you'll see that it's moving the cursor. <clears throat> and if I use these other keys, let's try W, goes up. So you can use that. Continue hitting J to cycle through. So I can choose previous ink. So I can select the inks with U. The next ink I, previous paper, next paper. Now let's hit J again. I can plot ink, plot paper, plot clear, uh, get ink at cure, cure. I don't know what that is. Um, J, previous sprite or next sprite. And then I can add sprite to, I'm guessing, animation, remove sprite, slow animation down, speed up animation. And then I'm back to the uh, end here where I can save it. So if I hold shift key and hit S, it would save this beautiful picture. I'm not going to do that because I want to actually uh, create my first uh, cellular storm and then save it rather than this ugly masterpiece. <laughs> so thanks for watching me getting a mouse to work. It was relatively simple. Uh, I didn't really do anything other than plug it in and it pretty much worked and I found that Kempston program and saw that the mouse is being recognized. So thumbs up on this genius mouse. Now I'm off to clear the Cheerio Krusties off my scroll bar.